Isaac found himself in the wilderness. Can I get a witness? Y'all know what the wilderness is. A wilderness it, 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 it is significant of a desolate place. There is no food. There is no shelter. But let me tell y'all something about the wilderness. If you ever want to find yourself, find yourself in a wilderness. Find yourself in a place where your friends don't walk away from you. Find yourself in a place where folk are talking about you and scandalizing your name. Find yourself in a place where you don't have any income and got a whole lot of outgoing. Find yourself in a place where nobody else can help. Find yourself in a place where you don't have anything. Find yourself in a place where the doctor don't walk away from your bedside. Find yourself in a place where a lawyer will take your case. That's what they did. That's what they found himself. Anybody ever been there and done that? Now I want y'all to know something. It would have made sense if David had exercised his right because he was a king. Hello, somebody. I know there's somebody in here that <laughs> you done relied on who you're supposed to be. <laughs> relied on who you think you are. Can I get a witness? But it didn't work for you. Huh? <laughs> You tell folk who your family is, amen, huh? Y'all remember that? That was the time, amen. When if you couldn't get credit on your own, they would ask you who your daddy is. They would ask you who mama is, amen, huh? And if mama or daddy, amen, had good credit, guess what? Because you belong to mama or daddy, that name was good enough in your place, amen. But I want you to know something. When trouble come your way, when heartache and hard time come your way, it doesn't care about who your dad is or who your mom is. So David said, Now, I want you to know this. There is a difference between lifting up your hands and throwing up your hands. Maybe some of y'all back here didn't hear me. I said there's a difference between lifting up your hands Throwing up your hands. Simply said, I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have anything left. There's nothing I can do. But the idea of lifting up your hands is a control motion. You can lift them up. Good God Almighty, somebody. There have been days when I had to lift them up real slow. Good God Almighty. I can lift it up. It might take me a little time to get it there, but it's going to get there. It's a control motion, amen. I wonder, amen, is there anybody in here tonight, amen, that realizes I don't need to throw up my hand. I need to lift up my hand because I look to the hills from which comes my head. I know beyond the shadow of a doubt. I'm lifting up my hands. I'm telling Almighty God, I'm lifting up my hand to a God that sits high and looks low. I'm lifting up my hand to a God that's got all power. He can if it's his will, but he don't have to. Before I take my seat and sing it 
back for this revival. I want you. I want you to see something. I want you to understand this. The idea of coming out of what you are going through. Anybody going through anything? Is there anybody that's going through something? Because if there's nobody going through anything, anybody that wants out of what you're going through, would you lift up your hands? See, that's a control won't you? You didn't have to lift them up. But you lift them up, amen. Because you acknowledge that what I'm going through is real, amen. But I come to tell you tonight that the idea that I'm coming out with my hands up, I'm not coming out because I threw up my hands. But I'm coming out because I lifted up my hands. Paul said, I will. Position yourself. 
let me tell you something. The other part that you would hear is that if you don't come out, we will come in and get you. I believe that's what God is speaking to somebody right now. I believe that there's somebody in here tonight. It's not the devil messing with you. God chases who we love. God is that serious about our salvation. I wonder sometimes, Pastor, what if we could be as serious about us as God is about us? The ideology of holding up one's hand is to say I surrender. Yeah. 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 See, it's no use in lifting up your hands to praise if you're never going to lift up your hands to surrender. Yeah. All right. There are some things that's going on in your life right now. Can I get a witness? Amen. Yeah. I want you to know that you've been beating your head against a wall long enough. Yeah. Come on, Now remember what we said. There's a difference between throwing up your hands and lifting up your hands. Somebody about ready to throw up your hands. But before you throw up your hands, why don't you lift up your hands? And gain a new position in the Lord. Amen. I spent a whole lot of time this evening between here and the doctor's office. I couldn't come to preach like I was when I left the doctor's office. I had to position myself. Yes, right, that's right, amen. Yes, doctor. How important is that, Pastor? I'm glad y'all asked that question. My God says, see if I will not open up the windows of heaven. That's what the word say. And pour you out a blessing. In so much that you shall not, not have room to receive. That's right. There is no use in him opening the window and I'm on the back side of the house. All right, preacher. In other words, in order that I receive the blessings that he opened the window for, I gotta position myself under the window. Let me tell you something. That person that you don't want to fool with, Come on now. that might be your window. <laughs> that person that you've been mad at for so long that you don't forget about what you're mad about, that might be your window. <laughs> that work that, that God been trying to get you to do that you don't never have time for. All right, preacher. That just might be the window that you need to position yourself under. To come out with your hands up, you must maintain the right posture. <laughs> you see, it's dangerous that when you are coming out, <laughs> To put your hands down. Am I right about it? And I declare tonight that if somebody in here, you are almost out, but you put your hands down. Your, your bills was almost caught up. And you say, well, I'm going to spend some money on myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna treat myself. I'm not going to church this summer. I'm going to the beach. You see, you got to maintain the right posture. The right posture for when you are coming out with your hands up is on your knees. You got to pray. Good God Almighty, somebody ought to hear me. You got to pray when you want to pray. You got to pray when you don't feel like praying. You got to pray when you're too sick to pray. Yes. Maintain your praise. 
Understand your position. And have the right posture. May God bless you. I don't know about you. Today. I don't know about you. 1980. I came out. With my hands up. Now I'm being in chapel, and, and I know North Corner know that one thing I like to do is to give you a free one. Is that right? Yeah. Here's your free one. And some of y'all work with me on this. Y'all ever notice that as soon as they came out, the law says that there is a set of laws that are called the Miranda Rights. <laughs> Every person in this country is allowed. Amen. Huh? <laughs> All is right, allowed preacher. Come on, preacher. Come on, preacher. Those rights extended to them. I just want to touch on. The first one. Right. Can I do that just for one yeah. more time? Get ready to leave here anyway? Yeah. <laughs> now, the first one I see mm -hmm. that you have a right uh -huh. to do what? Rain out. <laughs> tell them, preach. Can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you've been blessed by the Lord. All right. If the Lord has ever moved in your life, if the Lord has ever done anything in your life, if the Lord has ever lifted you from where you were, if the Lord has ever brought you out of your mess, I stop by to tell you tonight, you don't have a right to remain silent. You should. You ought to be praised.
when God is here to bless you right now. That cost you anything? That have to look a certain way, smell a certain way? Just come out. Amen. You better not you die, but come out. Put your hands up. Hallelujah. 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 You can stand in judgment if you want. You better come out of there. Hallelujah. There's one tonight. Just make run down to the altar. See, we ought to be like popcorn. It's a sad commentary. But we know that we are all messed up from the pro up. And we'll not come out with our hands up unto the Lord. We'll not cry, Lord, have mercy on me.